Vocês discutiram algo? Eu não que não nunca Eu tenho que ter conteúdo, dados e fatos, mas eu sempre estou falando o que eu penso, colocando na mesa aquilo que eu acredito. Então, eu achei bem interessante o vídeo, o exercício, porque eu pude realizar isso em mim, sabe? Hum. não tem muito segurança psicológica, eu fico com uma coisa que igual você falou, de me incomoda se eu não falo, sabe? Aí eu falo, mas agora eu tô tentando tomar mais cuidado para fazer mais perguntas do que falar tanto, sabe? Porque às vezes eu quero questionar, eu quero falar muito e aí tipo, ai caramba, só eu falei. <risos> Ninguém mais falou nada, só eu fiquei aqui trazendo a dor que todo mundo traz no privado ali, sabe? É, e aí eu tô tentando fazer esse exercício de mais fazer perguntas para tentar identificar assim, sabe? Isso é difícil. Você deveria ser muito agradecido quando as pessoas estão complainando, porque você sabe que eles têm algo que eles têm. Então, quando alguém vem a você com uma complainha, você deveria ser muito agradecido. Mas, às vezes, não se sente bem ter uma pessoa que está complainando, não é? Sim. E depois você pode ser muito agradecido
See, the complex continuum looks like this. On one end of the continuum is what I call no conflict, artificial harmony. This is where people seem to be getting along, but they're not really being honest with each other. On the other end of the continuum is really negative, mean-spirited, harsh conflict. This is not a good place either. Now, what I find is that most companies live someplace over here, close to the artificial harmony end. What they really need to be doing is moving away from that end where they're having some constructive conflict, some, some constructive conflict, a little bit more, a little bit more, until they get right to that point where one step further in this direction would be destructive. And then, of course, if they continue, they're going to have more destructive, more destructive, more destructive until they get over here, which feels like hell. Well, why do most companies live over here at this end of the pool? Because they feel like any step in this direction is one step closer to hell. So they cling to this end of the pool thinking, we can't go there. But great teams move in this direction and have more constructive conflict until they get right up until the edge. Now here's the thing. Even the best team is going to occasionally step over that line. They're going to move into the destructive territory. And they're going to learn that they can recover from that because they trust each other. And when they recover, it's going to give them the courage they need to live right here. It's also going to make the team better. Because scar tissue that heals when you recover from something like that is stronger than tissue that's never been scarred. So let's have the courage to move away from the end of the pool where we're having artificial harmony and move to that place where we're having as much constructive conflict as possible and do our best not to step over the line, but to realize that we can recover if we do. I'm out here in Livermore, California today at Cornerstone Fellowship Church with a number of members of their staff, and we appreciate them having us. So Patrick Lancioni and his model, we have the model over here. And you can think about your own organizations here. Where are we on this conflict continuum? Uh, the best would be to be in the green space towards the middle there. And if you move into the yellow space, that means that there is a warning flag up and you should not move into the red areas because then you are really in deep water. Okay. Where do you think your company is on this continuum? And how could you move your company or your team towards the middle? That's something to think about. I don't know if we should do it now or maybe we stop at a bit uh -huh. at five o'clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll wrap up this training. You can bring that that thought with you to your uh, companies and think about where we on the conflict continuum. So conflict is not always a bad thing. It's actually a good thing to do it in a respectful way to a certain degree. Help the conflict. So I don't know, Tiago, how do we wrap it up? Can we do a retrospective? Small retrospective? Yeah, or if one can talk about what are the biggest moments, the biggest learning. Your ah, biggest learning? Say for the time, I could do so many other things that, so the, the keep yeah, the yeah. same, my school yeah. children keep the system still. Vamos passando um por um. Quem quer começar? Maybe we, maybe we let them think a little bit, yeah. like two minutes first. É, pensem por dois minutos, aí a nota no post-it. A gente pode até colocar ali, aí cada um compartilha. Desses dois dias, qual foi aí o maior aprendizado, o que foi bacana? Se tiver algo a melhorar, também pode colocar um pequeno post-it.
What will I now stop, stop cutting mm -hmm. it out from the mm -hmm. screen? Have you also seen that I did a summary video yeah. to the whole training? Okay. Uh, there is an 11th session. Mm -hmm. Are you doing that? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Aha. Aha, Mónica. Aha. Eu vou achar que eu tenho que ter comigo. Você pode seguir. Quer que eu solte o som ali? Ai, você pode.